How to download and install WHMCS. Installing WHMCS is a simple process as long as your server meets all the system requirements. Generally, any server running a control panel such as cPanel or Plesk will meet the requirements. If any are not met, you should be notified of this during the install process. This tutorial assumes you have already purchased a license for WHMCS. Start by going to the client area of the WHMCS website. Click Client Area again to log in. Fill out the login form, then click the login button to proceed. Go to My Products Services. Locate the correct license on this page. Scroll down and find the download section, then download the latest version of WHMCS. If you do not see any downloads, you'll need to contact the WHMCS Support Department. Once the file has been downloaded to your computer, extract the archive. Double click here. Scroll down. Remove .new from the configuration file's name. With the file renamed, upload the entire WHMCS folder to your FTP server. Because the WHMCS code is encrypted, the lawn cube loaders are required for it to function. Your server may already have these installed. If it does not, you'll be unable to proceed any further. There should be an Ion Cube folder in the archive you extracted. Simply upload that folder inside the WHMCS directory you just uploaded. If the Ion Cube folder is not present, contact WHMCS support for the files or contact our support department to have Lawn Cube set up for your entire server. After all the files have been uploaded, you're ready to begin installation. Go to the installation script here, http www.yourdomain.com whmcs install install.php Read through the license agreement, then scroll down. Click I agree. If any of the permissions checks fail, you will need to adjust the chmod permissions as described for each file. This can be done using your FTP client or control panel. Once all checks have been passed, click Continue. Paste your license key. Fill out the database information. Click Continue. Enter account details for your primary administrator account. Click Continue. Installation is now complete. You should delete or at least rename the install directory before proceeding. Also, be sure to change the chmod permissions for configuration.php back to 644 if you needed to change them earlier. Then, go to yourdomain.com whcms admin to see if the login page appears. Here it is. You can now log into WHMCS. There are a few post-installation steps that should be taken before actively using WHMCS. For details, watch the two tutorials that follow.